Is gunshot residue a good test for forensics? I'm Dr. Wolf, I'm a forensic pathologist, medical examiner, and I did do a video about this the other day, but I don't think I got my point across well enough, so I just wanted to make another video about this. So the source I'm using today is Spitz and Fisher's Medical Legal Investigation of Death. This book is considered one of the most important and best books in forensics, um, and pretty much everybody that goes through learns from this book, at least in part. All right, so this is the paragraph we're going to look through. The presence of gunshot residue does not prove someone fired a gun. The absence of gunshot residue does not prove they did not. There are too many factors, such as improper collection techniques and washing of hands, including false positives, which cause some laboratories, such as Michigan State Police Forensic Laboratories, to discontinue GSR analysis. Now, um, this book was written or published about 20 years ago, so it's not all the way current. But the point is, um, this was the practice even 20 years ago, that there was some skepticism with regards to gunshot residue. Now, I work in Indiana, and I have done hundreds of cases, both um, homicides and suicides and accidents as well, where a gunshot residue was not collected. I mean, I don't think we've ever collected it on a case. And we've worked with um, local departments, county departments, um, state police, and of course, FBI. And to put a finer point on it, you have to think about this in hypotheticals. So let's say you have a person with a firearm, they pull the trigger on themselves. Um, they might have gunshot residue on their hands and their body. However, imagine another scenario in which somebody else pulls the trigger um, on, you know, com homicide basically is what I'm getting at. And there's a cloud of smoke coming out of that gun. The person who got shot may also have gunshot residue on them. So it doesn't tell you who uh, pulled the trigger. And in fact, think of a, a scenario in which somebody has a gun pulled on somebody and the person who uh, is the victim puts their hand up or even grabs the gun. If that gun is fired, uh, the victim is going to have gunshot residue on their hand, but of course they didn't fire the gun. And so the idea is that it is um, easily refuted in court and uh, is inadmissible in court in some uh, areas and probably would be rejected in others. Now, uh, I know that, like I said, there are labs that still collect it, and um, I don't know in those states if they still use it in court. Um, in the United States, we have, you know, 50 different systems of investigation. Um, there's little nuance differences, and so maybe some places still use it. I haven't seen it, and the reason why is uh, what is stated in that book.